The Cleveland Browns have only had half a helmet redesign in the Super Bowl era, but they've had a whole bunch of little tweaks here and there. We're gonna go over all those little tweaks. We're gonna tell you which helmets are our favorite, which ones are our least favorite, or that we don't like at all. And we are going to get into it, Steve, go. <laughs> all right, this one's all about the Browns. If you're not a Browns fan, don't worry. We have all of the 31 teams in the playlist. Go check it out. Browns fans are pretty psychotic. I think one of the reasons is because of the helmets. I mean, they're, they're, they're brought up in an environment where the name of their team is the Browns, but they have orange helmets. Yeah, it probably adds so much confusion, and the helmets, once upon a time, were so bad, they were good. <sighs> were they? <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to be nice. I don't know about that. So the name Browns came from the coach, right? Back in the 50s, I believe, right, Steve? That's right. Yep. And they have a little bit of brown in, the, in their uniforms and in their helmets. And when they started with helmets, it was basically orange helmet, brown stripes, white stripe, gray face mask. Super basic. And back in then, everybody was wearing gray face masks. So it kind of it was what it was. And I guess it was a good enough look for the time. Yeah, um, that's a good way of putting it. It was good enough for the time. That didn't really change at all until 1975, they went way out on a limb and put a white face mask on the helmet, and that was it. But it was a nice improvement. That gray face mask that they originally started with was probably made most popular because they played the first Monday Night Football game and they won. So that yeah. was cool in 1970. I don't want to beat the Browns up too much. Right. I mean, they, 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 they've been around on. for a while and they've had plenty of big years and all that. And I, you know, they do have fantastic, yeah. uh, fantastic fans. In 2006, they threw the numbers on the sides of the helmets and they did that one game in 2006, another in 2007. <laughs> Baby steps, man. <laughs> hey, you know, what, what, whatever it takes to mix things up back yeah. then. Don't worry, later on, they've done some pretty innovative things, I oh, would yeah. say, oh, yeah. um, and we'll, we'll get to those in a little bit. And during that era, there were some cool things that happened. So the team had their 60th anniversary, Johnny Manziel, and they had their best year since their re-entry in 2007. So, yeah. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You're talking about re-entry. Where'd they go? <laughs> well, true, true. They went away for a while. Well, but a lot of people forget about that. It's, I mean, I'm sure all of the Browns fans know where they went, but the Browns got up and moved to Baltimore, changed their name to the Ravens. Did you know that? So for three years, 96, 97, 98, no football in Cleveland. So they moved to Baltimore, changed the name because the city said, no way, you're not taking our name. They knew that it would be back. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. And then when they, the NFL did an expansion, they got put right back in. So that's kind of nice. From 99 to 2005, they used the exact same helmet with that white face mask, the brown, white, brown stripe. Yeah, they just went right back like nothing ever happened. So let's fast forward a little bit all the way to 2015. Out with the white face mask, in with a brown face mask, and we call that color, Steve? Cleveland Brown. Cleveland Brown. Yeah, it's a dark color on TV. A lot of people, I think, may believe they're black, actually. Even the 3D bumpers, I mean, the visor clips, they are brown. Very dark. I mean, as far as brown goes, it's a pretty sexy brown. Oh, I mean, brown is just a brutal color, but you're right. I mean, it's a, it's, it's a really nice shade of brown. Kind of like a deep chocolate. Makes me hungry. Hershey's brown? Totally. Yeah. yeah. Let's move on a little bit here. In 2018 and 19, they took the stripes off the helmets and there was chaos in the streets <laughs> of Cleveland. How could that be? Yeah, but that was only for a couple of preseason games. So yeah. I guess, you know, the rioting worked. I think a part of that had to have been a little bit of a stunt for when they were on Hard Knocks. Something else to shoot, something else to talk about. You know, you gotta earn your stripes. They threw a white face mask in 2022 back on the helmets. I guess to harken back to the, the yesteryears of the 70s and through 90s. <laughs> I suppose so, man. They had that look for like 30 years. Yeah, so one nice thing that they did, which I think was innovative for the NFL, because I don't believe any team has done this before, during or since is they had a carbon fiber kind of look to the stripes on their helmets. Okay, now we're talking. That really stepped it up. It took it into, you know, this century, sweet looking stripes. OBJ made his presence there again, bringing some popularity to that team. They were kind of coming off of being really like bad. And during that time, they also changed the helmets from like a high gloss to this 
satin type finish that we have. Now, would you call this satin? I would call this satin, yeah. And I think these satin helmets look cool. And also with these satin helmets, they've put the numbers on the side, they've gone back to a white stripe here and there. So they've kind of tweaked things around a little bit. Yeah, and I think it got people excited. Are they gonna be making some changes? But the answer was nope, nope, never. Absolutely never. That's what Dee and Jimmy, the owners, said when they were asked about wearing different helmets. Right after they said that, they started thinking about changing for an alternate, and they came out with the alternate white-out helmets in 2023, and here it is. This, awesome. is the, this is the winner as far as I'm concerned. This is my favorite. When they released this, it damn near broke the internet. People lost their minds, and I loved it too. I don't think that I would change anything. Thing. White helmet, no carbon fiber in the stripe because this is a 2023 helmet and hopefully beyond. Uh, they haven't done the carbon fiber since 2020. I think it would be cool to bring that back oh, be somewhere perfect. and still have that Cleveland Brown face mask on there. I don't know, it just looks sharp. It does. And then, you know, the 3D bumpers, Cleveland on the back, Brown's on the front. I think that it would be fun to see the mascot come back. Brownie. Yeah. When is it going to be that we're going to see a big brownie on the side of the helmet? Maybe 2024. Brownie on one side, number on the other side. I mean, who knows? They haven't gotten that crazy yet, but we'll see. So we've got 31 other videos talking about all the other teams in a playlist. We've got the link below. So if you are into equipment and you're a geek like us, go check those out because you're going to learn all kinds of stuff.